The Apostle Paul teaches us about the day of the Lord, the day when Jesus will come again, 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 1 through 11. The design of this passage is for Christians to exhort one another and to build each other up. And this subject is one that remains in great curiosity and speculation today. But I would like for us to consider a few points about the day of the Lord. First, the day of the Lord is a knowable day. The Christians in Thessalonica were knowledgeable concerning the day of the Lord. What they knew was taught them from God's word. They had received the word in much affliction and accepted it as it is in truth, the word of God which also worketh in you that believe. This working of revealed truth enables God's saints to wait for his son from heaven. Now such information is not derived from human wisdom or intuition. From no other source than God's word can man know regarding this day, 1 Corinthians 2, verses 9 through 13. But by the same token, what is not revealed about that day belongs to the secret things of God, Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29. And we must be content with only what God's word says about the day of the Lord. But also we find that it will be an unexpected day. It will be like a thief in the night. There will be no warning. One aspect of the day of the Lord which is not revealed in God's truth is when that time will be. Well, ironically, many false teachers today capitalize on this very point before a very gullible following with fictitious schemes and perversions of, of, of prophecy and philosophy to suggest that Jesus' coming is right around the corner and that we can predict when that's going to be. But Jesus himself stated that the time element is a matter that is known only to the Father in heaven, Matthew 24 and verse 36. Jesus doesn't know when he's coming. The angels don't know when he was coming. And if they don't know when God is coming, how preposterous it is for man to believe that they know when Jesus is coming. It's presumptuous for man to claim to know more than the Lord Jesus on this matter. But also the day of the Lord is going to be a day of vengeance. Paul said, when they are saying peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall in no wise escape. Many put God and their accountability to him out of their thinking, Romans 1 and verse 28. They think that this life is going to be one that is perpetual, Second Peter 2 verses 3 and 4. However, the day of the Lord will come in vengeance to them that know not God, and to them that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus, who shall suffer punishment, even eternal destruction, from the face of the Lord and from the glory of his might. 2 Thessalonians 1, verses 8 and 9. For those that are not prepared when Jesus comes again, it will be a day of vengeance. It will be a day of terror, for they will realize that they are not prepared. And they will realize that heaven is not going to be the home of every person, but only those who have been faithful to the Lord. But on the other hand, the day of the Lord is going to be a glorious day. For those that Paul describes as brethren, as sons of light, and those that are of the day, they are ones who have been watchful, ones that have been sober, those who have put on the breastplate of faith and of love and have put on the uh, for a helmet and the hope of salvation. The day of the Lord is going to be a glorious day, a time that Christians are looking forward to and earnestly desiring after. It will be when all of God's people meet the Lord in the air and so shall they ever be with the Lord. Therefore, we must not sleep but be sober and be watchful. What is this day going to be for you? Is it going to be a day of joy or is it going to be a day of sadness? Only you can answer that question. Consider these things today and may God bless you with a wonderful day.